Hello everybody, my name is Mark Bukema. I'm from the Diocese of Marquette. I'm here in Israel on the, the Desert Formation pilgrimage and having a great time. Today we visited the Holocaust Museum at Yad Vashem here near uh, Jerusalem, here in Ein Karim. And it was a, a really great experience as far as experiences like that go. This is my second time at such a museum, and it's always a very sobering experience to visit a place like that. The tone, the, to the tones there are very, very somber. It's very solemn, and it's very serious. And it's it's obvious to see why that is. There's a, there's a lot to remember at these at these places, and as we were going through them, Monsignor Trapp reminded us to kind of have Jesus on our hearts and in our minds as we view the materials in the museum. And that was really helpful because we really want to keep in perspective Jesus's love for us and for all those who suffered and died in, in these horrible, horrible ways. And what really spoke to me was the individual accounts, not, not just the, the lump sum of the Holocaust itself, but I, I found an instance where there was a young man who began kept keeping a journal when he was 15 and up, up until he died when he was 19. And I thought that that was really very profound because, you know, he, he kept a legacy in, in great detail of what was happening and what he suffered and what the people around him suffered. And that was really what spoke to me. And I'm, I'm very thankful that I had an opportunity to, to be there and to witness it and carry that with me forward so that we always remember what happened. And we never forget because that's the most important thing. And I think that's another th important aspect of, of having Jesus with us is that he wants us to remember such things, even though they're horrific, so that we can try to see that they don't ever happen again. So I want to thank you all so very much for making this possible. I couldn't be here without you and without your support. And it means so much to me and it's a debt that I can never repay. And I, I, I want you to know that you are in our hearts and in our prayers. I, we're praying for you every day. We want you to know that we know that you're praying for us and we're so thankful your prayers are really circling us and keeping us safe. And we can really feel the power of your prayers. Thank you so very much. Take care and God bless you.